Hey guys, I'd like to make a few comments about the uh, Fresno shooter and a few things that uh, came, to came to mind when I was reading uh, through the articles. Well, one thing that I was reading was that he was in jail at around 2005, I believe. So, you know, this guy doesn't really seem like one of the people that was, you know, a born and bred Muslim type thing, you know, his parents were Muslim, etc. I he looks like a convert to me. But, um, uh, prison, the prison systems, a lot of the times, is where a lot of these people get, like, converted or radicalized into Islam. Like, this is what's going on in the UK and in France right now, where, like, 90% of the prison populations are Muslim, right? Or, like, 80%. And this isn't due to cops just rounding up Muslims and throwing them in jail. Like, they are committing a disproportionate amount of the crime in these countries. But, so they are being put in prison a little bit more than other people. But a lot of it has to do with people going into jail and then being radicalized or converted into Islam. Because, you know, they're like the dominant group in jail. So if you don't join them, you're going to get fucked, right? So it's not like you have much choice. And then when you're in it, you know, you may become more susceptible to it eventually and start to like it and agree with them. And, you know, a lot of, I'm sure a lot of people, once they get out, just turn away and be like, fuck that shit. But a lot of them probably don't. A lot of them stay. And, you know, they're just getting converts through this means. And, you know, think about who the people they're recruiting. And then, you know, we, we know that ISIS is coming into communities and trying to drive up hate for, like, white people and for, like, America and trying to get recruits to join ISIS. So, it's very possible that somebody had contact contact to that guy, although <laughs> you know he did yell "Alwa Akbar," and the police were like, "Oh, we're not sure if it was terrorism." Well, come on, like let's let's be clear here. Like it, it was terrorism, and he you know killed a bunch of people for political reasons, right? Like he he searched if it, if it was just a random shooting, like like they were saying, he he wouldn't have picked targets. Right? He would have shot at random like that guy in Cleveland. That was a random shooting. He just picked an old man on the street and shot him. But you notice how the media, the way they're covering this compared to the Fresno shooter, like, they're barely even covering it at all. The only reason probably a lot of people know about it is because of uh, Twitter. So, you know, and I'm looking at the uh, left-wing pundits. They're not saying a word, right? You know, when, when it was the Cleveland thing, you know, it's like, okay, we're allowed to talk about this because there's no, we can't, like, it's just views at that point because it, there's, it's not going to look bad on them, it's not going to look bad on anybody. So they can just cover it and they can get a lot of headlines. But for this, it, they, they could get a lot of headlines, but it kind of goes against their narrative. And, you know, if you look at this guy who he was following and, you know, they deleted his Facebook page, page pretty quickly compared to that Cleveland guy. It was a really, like, how did they, <laughs> they leave his really fast, but you know why? Because he was subbed to people like the Young Turks and the MSNBC and these people. So, yeah, they, they don't want to highlight that because now they're going to have to disavow him, like, anytime somebody does something bad that's a Trump supporter, Trump has to come out and disavow them. You know, they, they don't want the same thing pulled on them that they pull on, you know, you or me. <laughs> you know, so it's very interesting. I want to see how they're going to cover it. Maybe there's not enough Muslims in movies, and that's why they're uh, killing people. That that could always be a good uh, possibility. <laughs> I'm not sure, though. But, you know, I think we should really look into the prison system and try to at least restrict it there, restrict Islam there, or at least have some observations, more observations on people, and monitor it more, and this kind of gives a little bit more credence for the band. Yes, he was a citizen, but the people you're bringing in have the same ideology, and you just finished bombing their country. Do you think a lot of these people you're bringing in are going to be happy you bombed their country? No. So, you know, it's probably good that you uh, get out of the Middle East as well while you're at it. Don't go into Syria more. Bomb Afghanistan and ISIS, that's fine. You have the consent of other governments when you're doing that. And they want you to bomb I uh, ISIS. But, <clears throat> you know, believing rebel forces 
and going into uh, Syria, and you know, like these rebel forces, they're propagandists. They're they're liars. <laughs> like, look at their uh, that body challenge they did, or the mannequin challenge. Like, they're expert filmmakers, <laughs> and you're relying on their word. Like, there's a lot of video evidence of them dancing with ISIS, and you know, celebrating with them. If they're enemies, if they're against each other, why would they be doing this? Right. So yeah, we we need to, uh, you know, the travel ban is still good, it's still a good idea, and you don't necessarily want to be bringing people in your country that yeah you're bombing, and also they have the same ideology as the guy who committed this, and also this guy had a, like a visceral hatred for white people, whereas a regular Islamist kind of doesn't discriminate that much in that nature, like they kill other Muslims because they are just not devout enough. Whereas this has a different tint to it, a different aspect to his hatred. And a lot of it has to do with, yeah, the, the stations he's following, there's like the Young Turks, this and that, because they, they always portray kind of the narrative that like, hey, white people are out to get you, fuck white people, etc., etc. So it's, it's no surprise that some crazy lunatic that also believes in Islam and is watching that stuff is going to eventually do something like this. And if you think it's not going to happen again, and you continue doing the same thing, you're wrong. Like, it's going to continue happening. And same goes with uh, people on the right, you know. If if you're blaming all Muslims, saying all Muslims are bad, or, you know, we, we you know, they're all evil, they're all out to get us, you're going to have, like, random dudes going out and shooting random brown people that are, like, Hindus, Sikhs. So, you know, we should think about that, too. But clearly, yes, a lot of the propaganda, a lot of that anti shit is typically coming from the left, and that's more mainstream. So, you know, let's let's think about that, and let's also look into the prison system again, and try to reform those, curb Islam in prisons, at least, because you might have more uh, political sway doing that than you would doing it on, on a nationwide level. But that's pretty much all I ha had to say about the uh, incident. If you like my content, subscribe, and have a great day. See you later.